Hello, this is Robert with Sparkfun Electronics, and this is another New Friday product post. Last week I had just gotten back from Thailand and I was a little jet lagged, and we didn't do a proper new product post. We didn't have any cool demos or anything like that. So this week we're making up for it. We've got a little bit of a demo that we've got going on, and also we've got a bit of a prank. So this is a very special episode, so you might want to watch it all the way through and definitely read the product post that goes along with it. So let's see what we've got. So we've got two new tools to talk about here. We've got an SMD tweezer, and we've also got this new heat gun. It's an infrared type. First off, these tweezers are pretty neat because they test SMD components. So as you can see, you've got these little tweezers at the end and this nice readout, and you can test diodes, you can test capacitance, and you can test resistors. So all you do is, well, take your little component here, and squeeze around the resistor, and boom, you get a reading. So they come in handy when you can't quite get probes on there, or it's a little bit tricky to get to. You can use these SMD tweezers. In addition, we've also got from the same company this new heat gun. It has a laser sight, and it's also got this really nice readout on the back, so you can just point to whatever you're trying to measure, and you get this nice readout. You can change it between Fahrenheit and Celsius. It's got like a max, a min, and a hold. And it's got this really nice pistol grip, and it actually feels pretty good. These are some pretty decent little tools. Here we've got another interesting product that might come in useful. This is ChipQuick, and it is a SMD removal kit. Now it's pretty simple, but basically what it consists of is you have the solder, some flux, and some alcohol. There's really not much to it. The interesting thing about this kit is actually the solder. This solder has a very low melting temperature, and so when you melt it, it actually stays melted for quite a long time. So if you've got an IC that you want to remove, you basically just solder all the way around it, and it will stay melted to give you enough time to pull off the IC. And we've got this Arduino Pro, and I'm going to pull off the Atmega 328 just to show you how it works. So. The first thing you want to do is take the flux and apply it to all the pins. So I'm just going to dab it all along here, along the other edges. And you can use your own flux. We sell you know, these flux pens and some other things. You can use your own if you want. This is just a little bit, um, it's kind of pasty, so it stays on there a little easier. And then all we're going to do is take this solder, it's a little bit brittle, and then we're just going to go along all four of the sides, just like this. So now all we have to do is lift off the IC and we're good. So now you have a lot of um, stuff left on the pads and all I'm going to do is just take some normal solder and just run along these pads and just clean it up a bit. So we just run along those pads, take off the other solder, and there you go. So now we have a relatively clean board. Of course, you can do it a lot better than this. I did kind of a sloppy, quick job with it. But the basic premise is that with a really low melting temperature, you can cover all the pins, and then it stays hot long enough that you can just lift off the IC. And all we need to do is use a little bit of alcohol and rinse off the flux, and then just go over the pads a little bit, and you're good to go. The IC is off, and you can put a new IC on there. So it's that easy. So it's a neat little kit if you don't want to or don't have access to a hot air station. Here we've got a product that might look a little bit familiar to you. This is a new version of an old product that we used to carry. This is the Power Switch Tail 2. This is the new version, and the primary difference is it's a little bit beefier, and this can handle a full 15 amps worth of current. What this is, is it's essentially a power cord with a relay in the middle. So what you can do is hook this up to a microcontroller with these two pins, one and two. The third one is a ground if you wanted to ground the system. When you hook up a microcontroller, you can set the pin high, and it'll turn the whole thing on. You set the pin low, it'll turn it off. And it can operate from 3 to 12 volts, so you can use a 3-volt microcontroller even, or a 5-volt microcontroller. And like I said, this can handle a full 15 amps. 
So, we were trying to think of a good way to demonstrate this product and what better than a prank. So what we're going to do is we've taken this power switch tail and we've combined it with the Ethernet Pro. Now the Ethernet Pro, we never really did do a good demo on it, so here's our chance. We've taken this and we've used it to control the power switch tail. So what we've got is a website that you can go to if you look on the YouTube video, check the description down below it, or on the new product post, check below that as well. We've got a link. Go to that link and you will see a webcam of Tim, who is our tech support manager. Hey everyone, this is Tim with Sparkphone Electronics. Now you can watch Tim and by clicking the button, you can actually turn his monitor on and off. So any of our viewers can do this until he finds out what's going on. So make sure you get on there as soon as you can, watch the video, and turn his monitor on and off. Now, the disclaimer is that he does not know he's being watched, so we really don't know what he's going to do. He could throw his monitor through a window, he could hurt someone, who knows. So the disclaimer is, who knows, there might be rude gestures or something. So definitely click on the link, check this out, and use the power switch tail for something you want. So this was your Friday new product post. In addition to the prank, in addition to the little demo here, um, we've got something else to talk about. We actually received a postcard for Mr. Planty Pants. Mr. Planty Pants was actually Dave's plant that we had in a product post a couple months back. And Dave's actually got a message. Mr. Planty Pants did get a postcard addressed to him from Violet in Baltimore. And Mr. Planty Pants does love receiving fan mail, but unfortunately, we don't know who you are, Violet in Baltimore. We'd love to say thank you. We'd love to, to give you a little something in return, but we don't know who you are. You left no return address. So if you are Violet in Baltimore, please get in touch, and we'll, uh, we'll say thanks. 